Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode of War Tales with the Dees Herters. So between last episode and next episode, I have gone around the map quite a bit. Let me just go onto the map itself and get out of this camp screen and I'll show you what has gone on since. Because it has been quite a bit, let me tell you. So we started off here, we, went, we were at a bandit camp last time, we took all its stuff. I then gone all the way up to the tracker camp and handed in all the teeth. I did have to find, find and fight like five boars to get us over 200 and then i did go back to stromcap and get a few things here and there but let me show you the upgrades that have changed since i now have the watch keeping still mainly because i want to keep a better eye on jimmerfish john's not going anywhere although i think he's doing all right he's still pretty neutral uh, i was gardening with animals for a few days where i literally put both snooter and sif right next to him so he didn't go anywhere he didn't like that very much so instead i built this i'm kind of keeping some regular people next to him one day i will stockholm syndrome him into joining us but and hopefully that day will come soon i did get a torch i did make one with maul although i i do actually think you can buy them at the uh location which kind of makes the whole journey a bit fruitless but going to the um place where you buy, sell the teeth to i did actually get a crafting thing for a meat drying rack which i can actually make now technically so you know what whilst we're here why not just make it now this camp's going to be just full of stuff. I don't even know if I'm going to run out. Oh, I've also got the stretch table. Let me get the meat drying rack. I'm going to run out of space. There's going to be nothing. There's going to be no room left. Yes, yes. That achievement needs to get out of the way because I can't see what's going on. So let me just place that bad boy. So effectively, we can use this to put some meat on there and it will transform into... I'll just put some down. It will transform into four food instead of two food. And it's not as heavy because these things are massive. Oh, I can put a chicken on there. Interesting. Okay, so that's going to dry there for the time being. I do need someone to assign it to. So you know what, Rolf, off you go. Uh, Cora, keep an eye on Jimmy Fish Johns and make sure he doesn't run away. I don't need to camp here right now for this very second. Otherwise, not much else happened. I went to town. There wasn't really anyone that I could hire. I think it was just like three swordswomen, which was really bizarre. But we've already got the only swordswoman who is on the list. So that's sorted there. I am going to quickly do this before we go into this dungeon lair thing. So if we go to the banner, I am going to go to swift progress. Because I know there are some resolution lasts until the next rest. That's fine, because we are going to be going in there anyway. Um, but I know there are some combat encounters. Now let me quickly use this knowledge point, because we now got one. Let me figure out what I'm going to use it for. Okay, because we're kind of creeping up to level 5 now, like, there's some people who are literally, like, kind of on the edge of it, so I think we might see, like, our first level 5s by the end of this episode. I have gone for the first experience one, just so we're ready to just rock and roll into that as soon as we level up. This is looking good now. Let's just get going. Let's get into the Tiltron Tomb. Ooh. It might not be that bad. I don't actually know. Maybe going in there half-cocked might not be the best idea. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, you can actually buy torches from this guy. Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we, Mercenary? Steal yourselves. People often go missing in there. So it kind of made me feel stupid that we ran all the way back to build a torch. And anyway, it's fine. I'll take a few because uh, I need the light to get through. So the way that these work, God, I don't have a lot of money either, so I've got to be careful. So the way that it works, each torch counts for amount of light. And as you go through these dungeons, if I recall, it costs an amount of light to go into each room, as I recall. So I've got one, technically. So let me go one, two, three, four, five. Ugh, 464. Let me see if I can sell some stuff to him. Okay, I've sold what I can. We've got, like, six torches, including the one that uh, Maul's got in his hand. And I think that one will count. Let's go. Let's see what lurks inside the Tiltron Tomb. Okay, so yeah. So you'll need torches to light your way to explore tombs. If your light dies out, your troop will panic and flee the tomb. Yeah, I guess that's valid. I'm just going to have to check, like, every single area around here. Let me just close this so it's not getting in the way. Just so I can see anything that we can grab. So exploring costs us three. We've got 36, which is quite a bit, I think. But you never know. It can get away from you pretty quickly. I don't think, see anything I need to grab. So let's explore. Mm, okay, we're okay. So that requires a crude key, which I don't have yet. Is that lootable? No, that's not lootable. I can't see anything else I can grab here. Let me go down this way. Stones of all sizes are strewn across this corridor. They seem to have fallen from a ceiling or skewer by darkness. No, advance cautiously. I don't want anyone to get crushed by rocks. Thank you. We reached the other side. Uh, I can't... Oh, there's a puzzle there. I don't see anything 
else? Oh, there's a sign on the floor there. What's that? Come on, Torch. It's like a orange Zorro sign? Okay. Let me see how I look like this. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, I need a scholar. Oh, God. Right. Um, Hang on. How am I gonna do this? Wait. I have a dumb idea. Okay, Jimothus. My pack mule. My prisoner. I'm gonna make you my jack of all trades whilst we're in here. You don't have to be a, an amazing scholar. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna force you to learn how to be an archaeologist right here, right now. And you're gonna do it because you're, you're currently one of our prisoners. Okay, let's go. This is silly. I need to make someone into actually like our permanent scholar going forward. Oh, uh, it's one of these sort of puzzles, right? Uh, you might have to give me a second because I've never been great at these. So I'm gonna hope for the best that it's just easy enough. I don't know if it will be easy enough though. So that kind of goes there. That kind of goes there. There is sort of a. I know, that looks like it goes in the middle there. That looks like it goes down there. That then goes in the corner there. That goes into the corner there. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I didn't even need to skip anything. Ding dong, you've discovered the Rune Mountain. Now, I think they live in the Knowledge Area? Yeah, so Runes and Codices Mountain. You've filled your knowledge of the runes of the ancients. The rune symbol is the word mountain. So, I mean, I I'm guessing that means it tell you could figure out, like, the language, I guess. Is there anything else I can nick? Boss minute. I don't see anything. So, I've got the Mask of Zorro on the floor, which is either orange or red. I can't tell because it's dark. Let's turn back now. And then let's explore down here. I'm noticing that this is going down, so I do want to be... Okay, and there's also a blue Mask of Zorro. Okay. This is very easy to remember, just because <laughs> I'm remembering it in a really stupid way. Okay, so there's a torch there. What's this guy? The statue depicts a man called Dagen. Something about his posture makes you want to sing. Alright, I'll sing. Oh, we just unlocked the new profession bard. <laughs> hey, Jimothus. You know what I said about being a jack of all trades? Come here. You're now a bard. You will learn music and you'll become an archaeologist if I say you have to. Okay, it turns out we need to get people who can do both of those jobs. Well, how's this going to work? Press in time of the notes on each string to play the sheet music. Your reward will depend on the quality of your performance. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, well, I've only got one song, so... Okay, I missed one. Come on, Dagan, don't don't screw me for that. Come on, you've got to give me something. Your performance seems to have triggered something. All those years as a teenager playing Guitar Hero finally paid off. You've gained fragments of a precious item, and you've gained the Artist's Codex Chapter 1. Is that just in my inventory? Let me just go to type quickly. Uh, yeah, this Codex of the Ancients is damaged. You can use a lectern to restore it. Yeah, I really need to get an actual scholar. I feel really bad that uh, someone did ask to be a scholar, and I was like, nah, we won't need it. And and now here we are where we will, where we do actually need it. So I'm probably going to have to hire someone just for that alone. Hopefully when we get to our tears, there'll be people who are hireable. How's this going? So we've got 22 light. This is a bit ropey, but let's keep going. It's not so bad so far. Oh, you feel a warm breath behind your shoulder. I take that back. Oh, God. Where are they? And, and where's the music? Is it supposed to be this quiet? Is it supposed to be this eerie and quiet? Okay. Well, Cora, can you run into there? I don't know where they are, so just throw it. Oh, no, they're there. That was... That went surprisingly well. Oh, well, once again, the music not playing is a bit offsetting. I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to be in this tomb, and it's just supposed to be creepy. But I never really like being able to hear just my voice, but here we are. Sorry, people. Yeah, at least I got to see everyone. Uh, can you move back, like, one step? You might, might be able to hit them both. Yes, you can. I'll take it. Uh, you can't really galvanize anyone, so just, uh... Can you walk ever so slightly there? And then just, just lock it down. I don't know what these creepers can do. They're level 2, so I don't think it's too bad. But I just want to be doubly sure. What's the horse going to do? I mean, almost killed him all, right? Rufus is going to die. Hang on. 
it's creepy that they're all just hidden in the darkness and we can't actually see where they are, like, at all. No, 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 I will kill them. Even that didn't set off the music. That's creepy, man. I am not a fan. Okay, Rolf, be careful. You're a captain, doesn't mean that you've got to die for everyone. He's too far away. Uh, Cora, you've already gone. Mole, can you get there? You can. You're the only one with a torch, to be fair. Can you, like, whack it? Whack it? Okay, get a little bit closer. Maybe don't you maybe don't use a torch because we kinda need it. And if you use it too many times, we then lose a torch, which then would mean Well, we can't use it for this this uh area. Don't stand on the fire. It's creepy that the creeper made a human noise when it died. I'm just saying. Where is it? Okay, there's one there. There's at least three more hiding in the darkness, according to Oh, nope, didn't find one. Well, we can harpoon that one. Why not? Oh, ho, 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 ho. amazing, Radonis. Right, that one is gone. At least it's not too overwhelming, I guess. Right, Cole can handle that more, rat. And then there's another creeper just, just somewhere. If I run around enough, I might be able to find it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Maybe Snooter knows. I thought Snooter was just going to go run onto the fire, honestly. I was like, what are you doing? Also, archers, I don't think, can are going to really see you very well in this area. Oh, mate. Oh, that's not on. Bolt, get a move on. Didn't expect him to actually just railroad call. Okay, you've got a relentless charge and go through them both. Always trust Bolt. Always trust Bolt. Look at that. He's glorious. Good job. Okay, well, thanks for that. Let me repair quickly. Uh, Snooter weirdly leveled up, so let me get him up to now. I'll go, I'll go con. I need I need his survivability to go up. He needs to be a girthy pig. There we go. Everyone else level up? No. Uh, at least I can loot all this stuff. Oh, I got some teeth from here. That's kind of annoying. Right. The light has gone out a bit. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It's just a painting of some sort. Can I put like, the light there? No? Oh, what's that? You discovered the rune performance. Okay. And that does nothing for me except I now know the word for performance, right? The rune symbolizes the word performance. Yes, okay. That's cool. That's fine. Um oh, there's also a red circle. Okay, so it's Zor so it's Z O Z or Z Z Zero or Oz. It's Oz. And there is some rubble to clear there. I can't really see anything else. I'm I'm assuming there is stuff hidden like on the map. But I can't quite see it. I assume there's not much else I can do with this thing. Maybe. Let's go uh, inspect this quickly. Uh, breakthrough, please. Uh, Femris, knock it through. And don't don't fail it. I do like what we're using like our professions to get through this dungeon. It's pretty cool. Obviously, it'd be a lot better if we had someone who was a proficient in bard and scholar. And I'm not just utilizing our <laughs> prisoner to continue doing that. Let's explore. Yeah, again, a little bit worried about fatigue. As long as we don't run into any more shenanigans, we might be all right. Ah, that is a man. That is a dead man. Oh, thanks for the torches, though. And your glasses and the crude key that I can use for later. Great stuff. Aha! What's in there? A chisel has a chance of finding Sanso in mining. I can give that to Fenris. And another fragment of a small item. Okay, great. Um, There is a tomb here that I can't use. Oh, Cole, do a job for me, please. It's really dark to see. Hang on. There's one. Oh, I thought it was, was straight away two then. Damn. That was basically two. Come on. Give me give me some credit. And that's another book of artist codex. And then a sapphire and a ruby. I'll take it. Okay. So, this just looks locked. Uh, oh. Come on. Where is he? <laughs> you've got to you've put your scholar hat back on now, buddy. There you go. What's this? Ah. Right then. Okay, so it turns out it wasn't a Z, it's actually an S, so it's more like the Mask of Sorrow, I guess, or SSO. Is that working? Ring-a-ding-ding? Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Okay, we're in. Uh, I do still have a bit of fatigue, so I think I should be alright. Um, let's press on. This might be dangerous. Can I camp in here? I can camp in here. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know if that makes me feel better for the upcoming rest of a dungeon. I don't actually know what lives in here. Oh, these things. Why did I ask? 
I do find it creepy that there is no music. I'm just going to check the options. No, no. If, if, if there was some, it, it should be playing. Right. Everybody stay in a particular area and stay at least with someone else so you're kind of safe. Safety in numbers. Rolf, can you grab that torch and just throw it somewhere to see if they might, might be there? Just throw it. Just throw it. Okay. There is nothing there. That's creepier. There's one. Just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Okay, well, bolt, smash it through. Break its teeth in. I mean, you could probably just rush through it. That'll do. Right. Apparently, the animals have, like, a sixth sense about this, so they actually know where the enemy is. Which is really good for us, because that means that we can just rely on the animals to then... Oh, hello. To then deal with it, effectively. No, no. I would like whatever they drop, which I assume is just teeth, honestly, but... Can you move much further? Are you stuck in a weird... Are you stuck? No, you can move that far. It's not really helping anyone. Right, you've got that anyway, so you know what, Yarman, just go deal with that one. Oh, god damn. Okay, yeah, that's cool. And then go get me a point by standing next to each other. Right, where's Snooter gonna run? Because depending on where Snooter runs, that might be where the enemy is. Okay. Is the enemy like there? Mmm. No, the enemy's right next to Sif. But, you know, big wolf. I'm sure she's got this. Just in case, though, Radonis, go help her out, please. I assume that means there's more people around the area. Damn! And you gave Sif repost. I completely forgot about that. That works on animals. That's great. Uh, leather straps, that means that Femris does get more guard, I do believe. 48%. Yeah, guard. So I, I did hand out all these um, belt accessories. Most of them were to do with willpower movement, but the one that Femris has got is pretty decent. Just means that he has got better defense. Are you, is that technically not in range of you? Do I have to go a little bit closer? Okay, well, it's dead now. Whatever. Uh, I don't think you can hit anything. Maybe you can. Let me get a bit closer. Nope. I guess that doesn't surprise me. Nice one, Sif. Okay, so that leaves one creeper that's just somewhere. Hmm. Where, though? Oh! Next to the person that can't fight. That's not very nice now, is it? There is the mole rat, but Cora could take care of that, like, now. So, if you would, please. A thank thee. I'm really curious as to what we're going to find down here. Okay, new round starting... Can we just deal with this very, very quickly? Krista, one of your people are being attacked. You, as, as a lieutenant, you should really help out. Don't get any executions on those guys, do we? Are we good? Are we good? We're good. Our fatigue has gone through the floor, though. Let me grab this. Is anyone leveled up? No, I do need to repair, though. How safe is it to uh, camp in here? Saying that, I think that's the last area, because there's no other place to go. So I might be able to... Get out. I wish a torch would stop going out like that. Is there anything to grab? I know I've seen the two, but I know I can loot that. But I'm just seeing if there's anything on the map that I can loot around this area. Torch, could you come back out, please? Thank you. Do me a favor. There is, like, a route down there, but I can't quite make it out. Okay, fine. Let's just break. Hey, you know you know what? Bolt can do it. Bolt, break through. Okay, try again. With a bit more gusto, please. Okay, last one. Okay, last one for sure. You kind of screwed the last one up, but fine. Are we in? We're in. Oh, great, perfect. So we got the Artist Codex Chapter 3. A ruby, a sapphire, and another treasure of the ancients. The owner of this broken relic must be of noble lineage. A scholar could restore this. What, what you're telling me, game, is I need to hire a scholar. Okay, fine. I mean, I guess I could just keep Jimmy Fish Jones as a scholar for the time being. Right, I don't think there's anything else I can grab. Here, I did see a, f a flicker of gold then, so I thought that was the case, but no, I can't see anything else on this map. Let me go back. There's at least a chest I need to use the key for. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Okay, well, I'll go back here, and we're a little bit fatigued, but we're kind of, we're still, like, okay. I can now use the key to get into this. What's in here? Another fragment. Let me grab these sapphires and rubies, and then I think I can bounce, right? Ah, praise be, we got out. Let me uh, just exit. Can I talk to this guy, and will he say something else now? Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? Steal yourself. Mate, I, I've literally just gone in and come back out and I'm fine. 
Also, uh, we're not scholars, our prisoner is. Anyway, <laughs> that's a weird way of putting it. Good stuff, let me exit. Uh, let's get camping because we must be pretty damn knackered. Also, I've got so many torches now, but I just don't need... I guess I'll use them somewhere or another. Now, I think my main concern is that we do only have one day of food. Our money's getting quite low, and I am about to walk all the way into Artes, so it... We might run into a few situations here. Uh, Mr. Pig, just go over there. You're doing that, you're doing that. One of you come out here and pray there, because I feel, I feel like I need someone to pray for me after that. Uh, I don't think there's anything... I can also just build torches, but that's fine. I guess I could build saddlebags. Who's, um... You already have them. So... And you've got the horseshoe, so I'm not that worried. So unless I could put saddlebags on Sif or Snooter, which would make me feel kind of bad. Right, let's get camping, let's eat, and then let's get a wriggle on. Ah, cool! Yarman, to think we were starving when this tomb was full of riches, we have to find more like this. Study, spend the night examining the relics. Requires fragment of a precious item, gets engraved chalice, plus 20% fatigue. Imagine, dream of all sorts of adventures, dream. The next crown earnings are increased by 10%. I mean, you're telling me that even though you're not a scholar, you're going to make me an engraved chalice. Mate, done. Also, you'll notice that uh, someone has disappeared. So Jimothus made a runner last night and has injured Sith in the interim. I actually need to heal you up. Sorry. So Jimothus is now gone. He uh, he made a runner. And I thought he, he liked us. I thought he was getting used to be part of the deserters. What's so bad about us? Really? Fine. Well, he's gone. You will rue this day, Jimothus. You will rue this day. Okay, apparently I need. Can I just turn rats into? Ugh. That doesn't make me feel good. Okay, well, Jimothus is now gone. At least that's one less mouth to feed, but he did have some of my armor on him, which was really annoying. On the plus side, I do actually now have that. Uh, where's the Charles go? Is it in here somewhere? It's there. The cup is adorned with a variety of patterns. If they are indeed stars, the constellation they form are entirely fanciful. 75 crowns, is that it? Is it always worth, or is it worth more to other people? Because 75 crowns doesn't seem like that much. Then again, I suppose if you're getting loads of them, it would make sense. Okay, our fatigue's not great. Our prisoner has made a run for it, and he's never coming back, which is really annoying. It is what it is. At least now, food is only 45, so they're 48. I'm a little bit worried about our food, but I think I can probably get to Artez before we stop. Also, there'll be loads of people on the road that we can get food from. Is that him there? Is that him there? Jimothus. You little bastard, come here. Stay away from me. Where are my chains? Is he still wearing his chains? You ran off with the chains as well. Are you kidding me? You're making you're making me do this. You are making me do this. I'm not a good person. I'm not a bad person. I'm just a person. Okay, well, let's get going. That is not how I thought this uh, episode was going to go. We did the tomb, everyone was super happy, and then we got... I mean, I, I suppose he didn't technically be the traitors because he was our captor, but he was part of a murderous roving band of people, so he was bad to begin with. I was just trying to make him a better person, but I guess he just couldn't change. What a weird structure of events have happened. Um, I'd love to go and upgrade people's uh, and change people's talents, but I've only got 514 crowns. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen just yet. I'll go to the Brotherhood Training Grounds in the next region. I think that should be alright. But we are a bit sparse of money, and I am going to have to pay 221 crowns on the next one, which will leave us with, like, what, 300 tops? So we're going to have to take some Mondo jobs when we get to Artes. On the plus side, it'll be a completely new region. So the levels and the difficulty will be a little bit harder again will be sort of like back to the point where it doesn't feel like a breeze to get through you know and i know i could technically use a pit on to get over the or you used to be able to do an early access if you get to the top of this you could pit on down and go around it but i think i can do some training at the border crossing i'd rather do that have i discovered this yet technically i think i have i think i have okay fine okay this is getting pretty dangerous we are to let the farmers seek refuge in tiltra general's order his name was citrus and i was like that's a very weird Name? Oh, hello. I'm waiting for other caravans when passing through a warring country. Oh, you don't have any food on you or salt on you or anything. Great. So there isn't anything to buy here. I'm gonna have to like kill some pigs or wolves as soon as I walk through that door. Hello, border guard. People are fleeing Artes, 
And you're going there? Uh, yeah, I have a border pass. Oh, it's in my bloody... Hang on. This is the one thing I don't really like about putting stuff in here. You can't access it. Which seems a bit counterproductive. Or counterintuitive. There you go. And you're going there? Uh, yeah. Very well. At your own risk. The border is open to you in both directions. Thanks. I don't need to hear anything else. Let's go. I haven't really got time to think about it. We need to go and find some meat. I don't mean... don't. We don't need to start eating the corpse of uh, Matthias Lund. <laughs> we, we don't. That would be a mental turn of events. All right. Country of... Or county, should I say, of Artes. I need to find some boars or wolves. Two wheat, please. Two wheat, please. Okay, I can see a wolf sign, but we are exhausted, so we are gonna be we are gonna be doing this at like thirty percent. So this is gonna be dangerous. But rather that when people starve to death, I guess. What's going on in here? Oh, level four. Eight wolves at level four, and we're at a disadvantage. This is one way to start an episode. As I start an episode, probably about halfway in now. So let me just have a look at our negative modifier. Strength and dexterity is reduced by thirty percent. Yeah, so not health at least. Our constitution isn't. Uh, also, they've got, like, this weird Fog of War ability, which I could help but see. I don't know why they've got that. I'm assuming they're in there. Okay, so there's eight of them. I can see two currently. I cannot see any others, which makes me a little bit concerned. Okay, no, there are a few more over yonder. Let me see if we can get... Shoot her! Wow, that's not a lot of damage. Level four, isn't it? All right, well, I'm going to have to use all our abilities here just to, uh... Ah, oh, you expelled it to the Shadow Realm. Impressive. I don't know how you did that, but keep it up. And plus, also, our damage output is a lot less so just because of the situation we're in. Um, can you, Cora? I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, wow, there is quite a few of them in there. Belt it! And then attack it normally. That'll that'll do. Weaken it. I'm just going to, have to use all the cards in our deck to get through this because we are weakened, and uh, these guys are level four. This is, a, I think, this is our first level four fight. To be fair, I hate when it does this when it sticks me onto one character and I can't move any further. Which one's going next? Right, Maul. I need you to do some crazy stuff, and I mean crazy stuff. Yeah, like that. And then this. And then this. Oh, wait, hang on. And then this. Oh, I turned around. Hmm. Which one's about to go? Screw it, just do it. It should probably die, I think? Ah! Shimmy you can't avoid damage in this game. It's dead. Okay, great. You are now on fire, though, so, uh... If it isn't the consequences of my own actions much. Right, Femris, go in there. Lock that one down, please. Give, I mean, encouragement's gonna help a little bit, so I might as well do it. To be sure, to be sure. What's that do again? Damage shaker from shooting is actually reduced by 90%. That's good to remember. Ow. At least it don't cause, like, bleeding or anything. Unless they do that when they crit, maybe. Okay. Stand there. Bit muddy, but we've had worse. That will do. Now galvanize. If you stand there, not into the poison, please. Galvanize to the three of them. Come on. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go. I'll take it. And then let's just lock this one down. Nice work. Hopefully this will be enough food. Should have taken a corpse of Jimithus. Also, that was kind of a half-and-half half joke character. I know you were on the list as, like, jack-of-all-trades, and I did make you into a... basically a slave. So, you know, I can always find another person called Jimithus if that wasn't sort of your deal. <laughs> um, let me have a look. Technically find him again in another life. Ah, oh, what a traitor he was. Can't believe he ran away from us. I mean, he was a prisoner, to be fair. And, I mean, if I was a prisoner, I would probably also try and run away. It's not like we've, we've, we we've treated him badly, though. If anything, we're probably treating him better than, like, his entire other party. Oh, nice one, Snooter. But hey, you know what? Can't win them all. Can't win them all. Right, which one's going? Is it one that's hidden in the darkness, by any chance? 
I bet it is. All right, there goes the alpha. I think you're a bit too far away to get to the next one. That's fine. Ah, oh, there's another one there. Cora's got it. Don't worry. Redonis, harpoon, please. All the way through. Not, ooh, not all the way through as in all the way down there, but more or less all the way through. Nice. Well, to say that we're not actually um, doing as much damage as we could be doing because we are weakened, we're not doing bad. We're not going doing great either, but we're not doing bad. Come on, there's only five left. We can get through this. There we go, four left. And there's the galvanization. That should take us over. This one probably will attack Rolf, but he's got the armor for it anyway. Man, first day in Artes, everyone's really, everyone's really tired. Everyone's really hungry. We've just killed our prisoner, who technically helped us get through that entire dungeon, but hey, what are you going to do? What a weird turn of events. Come on. Nice one, Stomper. You did your job. Don't bleed out, please. Okay, good. You didn't bleed out. Okay, which one's up first? The Alpha? Right, Maul, can you just spin to win? You ain't dead. What you can do is... I mean, we've got a billion torches, so I might as well do this. And then Rolf can seal the deal. You are kind of on fire, though, so just be careful. Nice one, Sif. Good job. No, no. Technically, we start... I was about to say, they started this fight. We technically started this fight. Man, where was all this wolf meat when I needed to give it to that uh, infected guy, eh? Oh, well. So there's only one left. It's bleeding out anyway. But uh, roll, Cole, seal the deal, please. Thank you very much. Okay, that could have been worse. Uh, no, no, take all the food, please. Okay, we now have enough food. Uh, I do have enough to repair on. Cole will level up to level four. Slayer! Very good. Career plans, let's get up there. I'm more fine with just the dex boost than the actual critical hit boost for the time being. Then we'll level up. Oh, Coral leveled up. Nice work. Let's go strength. I will take it all the way to the bank. Right, let's see what's going on in this farm. And then I'll uh, go from there. I could talk to the sheep. Hmm. Hemp? Where's the hemp? There's always hemp. Right, quick as you can, Cole. Because we are pretty damn tired. Yoink. And then, oh, kind of close. There it is. Good job. You're going to be leveling up in no time. Playing cards, crowns, cloth, fine. Is there anything else in this vicinity that I haven't seen? Oh, there's something down there. Oh, yeah, cool. I need salt, though. Hi, Mr. Sheep. Sheep is shaking quite a bit. You're not entirely sure it's edible. I'm sorry, buddy. How, how are you doing, Mr. Sheep? Can I just take you with me? Aww. Aww. It's only going to die if I leave it alone. I'm sorry. You will help benefit the these hurters, even in death. Thanks, bro. He doesn't know it, but he's helping. Okay, well, we've now got a bit of food. You have to do what you have to do to survive in this world. Uh, oh, he's a haystack. What's that? Haystack could serve either as a makeshift bed for a companion or a tasty snack for a pony. Decisions, decisions. A pony of scientists will not consume any food. I mean, I kind of like the carrying capacity, to be fair. Can I just give it to... No. All right, well, I guess I'll let someone sleep on it. Here you go, Cora. <laughs> Take a load off. Honestly, I'm surprised that went so well. Like, we actually managed to get enough food. We now still need... We're back to needing 14 food, but I think we're going to have enough time to get back to... Uh, I say get back. Go to the first village. I think we do have enough time just to have a quick, quick look around. What's down here? Is there anything worth grabbing down here? I don't think so. No, it's a dead end. I've been played. Okay, let's go ahead to the settlement in this county, because I want to see if there is anyone we can hire who's on the list. It's been a while. I do need to pay everyone as well, so we do need to take at least maybe like one or two contracts for today. Yep, I know. I literally just said it out loud. Of course, you heard me when I said that. Let's get to the settlement. It is much further walk to the settlement than I thought it was going to be. I've almost lost like half of my uh, fatigue. I mean, I have been zigzagging like crazy just to grab stuff off the map, but we are at Korsha. Yay! Let's see who we can hire. Well, let's see what's going on here first. I do need to do a bit of recovery and management. Oh, the Church of St. Septimus, is it? 
And then we've got the Plowshare Inn, Little St. Pierre's Market, the Artist Apothecary Clinic, and Master Solicius Forge. Well, I'm pretty sure it's related to that uh, refugee that we gave to the other blacksmith. I could be wrong, but I feel like I'm not. Let me quickly just make that. I think I only used one, right? I don't think I need to make another one. No, I'm good. What have you got to say, Vissos? Usually, I'm only allowed to tend to the animals. But don't let that worry you. Man and beast are not that different. I beg to differ, but oh, okay, that's kind of where we will uh, have a different opinion on stuff. Okay, that's, that's just, that's just swift, swift, that's oils, which I'm not really caring too much about at the moment. I'm going to quickly nip into the forge. Anything to grab here? Nope. Who are you? There were two of us working here until Count Lahart enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. So I don't know if I can actually keep him in my retinue group and, so, and then bring him back here. Um, I'm not actually sure. I assume you probably can because they're actually related. But hey, you also don't really have as much stuff to buy than I'd like. Is there anything that I can forge whilst I'm here? Let me check. Uh, nothing that I really need. Like I said, our, our weapons are in a pretty good position. If anything, I now need to go get some white leather. So I need to go and hunt down some nightmares, which is going to be interesting to say the least i don't think i don't think it's gonna be the end one i think we will be able to do it it's just gonna be a bit dangerous right i'm gonna sell some stuff to salacia and then we're gonna go look at the market and then i'll go to the end okay well i think something's going down here what's what's this may the all seeing eye strike me down if i lie i saw him i swear three days ago i was collecting firewood with my husband when the hunter's ghost attacked us we managed to flee to the mountains but it was a very close call. I think that's to do with the next, like, champion of this area. So we've got to be a little bit careful where they are. And what have you got to say, Amir? Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. They've been running rampant in these parts since, oh, since the beginning of the war. Okay, if you say so, buddy. How much do I need? I need 45 food. But at least there's a few people, basically the same group the of people from here. On. And Ooh, and beans. Anything they come across. I barely have anything left to sell. Well, I'm going to buy as much as I can from you. I don't have the world of money. I did sell some stuff, but... Mm. But I can assure you, it is still perfectly edible. Well, why would you say it like that? Because now it doesn't sound edible at all. Let me see if my cook can deal with what you've given him. Okay, Yarman, what can you make for me? Oh, I can make some hemp tea. So actually, you know what? I think I will make some hemp tea. Very nice, that hemp tea. Uh, I can make some wolf sausage, which I'll do. At this rate, I won't be surprised if Yarman just levels up. How are you doing in terms of your level for your profession? I wish, I wish it said it on that screen, but it doesn't. I mean, he's pretty close. Pretty damn close. Uh, what else can you make? Make those two syrups, please. I mean, that's some XP, I guess. And then just, yeah, make 10 loaves of bread. Why not? There we go. He's a journeyman cook. Reduces by 5% how fast the troops fatigue increased after a full meal. Oh, that's great. That's really good. For anything that lengthens our fatigue is great. Also, we now have 100. We have two days worth of food. Great stuff. I will pay everyone on the next rest, but we don't need to rest just yet. So don't come at me with that. Right, let me go into the tavern. Let's see what's rocking and rolling. Oh, what's this? What have you got me to do? Rich journey on master level in a profession. Ah! Good job, Yarman, on getting us over that level. Let me level this up. Fabulous. Right, let me see what I can do. Wage paid to companions reduced by 10%. That would actually be kind of handy right now, because we are hiring a lot of people. Sell prices of luxury items increased by 50%. Training prisoners also grants 20 influence. Profession experience is doubled if there is a higher level companion with the same profession. I mean, that's very situational, I guess. Crowns gained from missions increased by 20%. You know what? Let me not sack off people's wages. Let me sack up how much they've got to pay us. I'll take it. Which I'll talk about before these, these missions. Okay, so I've got two contracts. They're both just dealing with vanquishing squads. They are kind of close to each other, but it is like a solid 600 crowns. There wasn't anyone in the inn so far, but let's go quickly blast through these, and then we can come back to the inn and see if there's anyone worth hiring. So I'll have the money to do so as well. Do a quick look in Saint Setimus. Hi there. Okay, there's a lot of people to talk to in here, apparently. Farities. I pray he stay for this war to end. Okay, at least his was short and sweet. Hello, Priestess of Light. This church is dedicated to Saint Septimus, the seventh son of Jeru. Who's Jeru? The guide and founder of the Faith of the Light. Jeru and all the other saints are hallowed individuals, but they are... Oh, so they, are, they do notice they are, it is human. Okay, that's something. 
Priest of the Light Sirius, Priest of the Light Sipar. Despite my old age, I became a priest only recently. Good for you. Another life. Oh, what really? Worst sort. The champion of their arena. Damn. If you're willing to teach these bandits a lesson by beating them on their own turf, I will share my best arena tactics. You're telling me this monk priest man was actually like a champion of the arena in his life. That's that's kind of amazing. I actually quite like that. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you. I do not believe in Lord Vanalis's so-called vision for one second. Jeru came to him in a dream. How very providential. Everyone knows his mother has always dreamt of becoming a countess. I see. Okay, so they're against that side of... Because there's like two sides. There's Jeru. Sorry, not Jeru. There's Vanalis and then they think there's Hostess. Um, I think last time we sided with Hostess in early access, so... But I'm kind of, you know, I'm easy or I mean, I literally just execute something in the forest for rain away from me, so... I'm not exactly a good person, am I? Uh, right, let's get on with this area. I do want to go down here. What's the thing here? An eye for an eye. Okay, let's go find these two groups to wreck. And I should also get at least one more knowledge point, because I'll discover stuff as we go, I think. Uh, and then we can come back hand them in, and then see if we can hire anyone. We'll also see if we get to level 5, because I think we're kind of close. That doesn't look pretty. Let me inspect it. They look very dead. Uh, yeah, I'll be taking that. There are some prisoners on the prowl right next to us, but they're not. I'm not having to deal with them yet. God, they are quite far away. That is a big-ass castle. Count the Hearts Castle. Yeah, I will keep the knowledge point. I'll do that whilst we're camping. I assume we're going to be a little bit Took it out in a second. Are we out? Energy? Sapping? Going? It's gone. Just, just, just a little more effort and I'll make a name for myself. Even the Legion will have to hire me. Or want to hire me. I don't know who the Legion are. I assume it's some sort of mercenary group. Imagine your parents' pride. Get three. Celebrate success with the group. Plus one relationship, one companion. Show off your skills in front of the group. Oh, an absolute point is massive. I don't know. I feel like uh, Cora would be at least a little bit modest. And she would want to be friends with someone. So I'm actually going to celebrate. And her relationships improve with Bolt, Krista, Cole, and Snooter. I mean, Snooter does keep her company by the fire, so I guess that makes sense. I've also kind of doubled down a bit on the influence, and I've actually used Swift Progress and uh, First for Knowledge. So our Knowledge XP will jump up, which makes sense because we're in a new place, and we'll also get more XP in combat. Let me quickly go to Companion, let me unlock something. I have no idea what. I mean, I might just double down on the food at the moment because it seems to be working out quite well. Oh, we have blueberries, so actually, yeah, sure, why not? I love a bit of tea. Obviously. Grab those. Right, let's get going. Let's find these two vagabond groups. Oh, yeah. That's probably them. Charge, I guess. Did I ambush them? The troopers just ambushed by companions. Fantastic. Level five? Level five? Oh, shit, okay. Okay, so we're now First Freedom. Deserters. The unit has galvanization as long as they, ha they are next to two enemies or more. Interesting. So we, we've rumbled them, but they also have... So what's the ability? Leader's protection. Where's their leader? God, he's got so much armor defense. I mean, yeah, okay. I know we outnumber them, but they're level fives. Oh, this is going to be interesting to say the least. This is going to be actually... Quite dangerous. I think it will be quite dangerous. Okay, well. Go for it, I guess. I don't even know what a saboteur does, to be fair. Not as much as I'd like. That's, that's one thing. Okay, his armor's gone, at least. So that's, that's summit. What's he gonna do? Bloody hell, that's that's just gone. It's just gone. Right then, well. Where's Maul? He's a bit too far away. And then you've got Her Her Heritium the Rat, who I thought would have been like the leader. He is the leader. But this saboteur is actually also giving everyone else... I'm confused. This is going to be an exceptionally dangerous fight. Just destabilize him. That's a good cray, actually. And then slice him open. Good stuff. And then taunt him. 
Man, level five really just jumps up, doesn't it? We need we need those better weapons here and now. Okay, that's manageable at least. Who's next? Little bomber man. Can we get man? Can we get like here and do like a spinneroni? We can. We can then smack them both with fire. So that's something. Right then. God, that's a lot of valor points I just used there. But at least he's now locked in. He might also set you on fire. Yeah. That's a predicament. Right, I need to get that bomber. I hate when he does this when it, it locks me into one person. Right, Rolf, Radonis, Cole. Cole, I guess go for it, buddy. Use another one. Start braying into him. Right, his armor's gone at least. He is also going to be bleeding and poisoned. That means his double, double strike should do. Oh, wow. Okay, Cole is not messing around. He knows the stakes. And he's got them on his hands. Literally. It's not a joke. He's literally got stakes on his hand. Right, who's next? Henchman. I don't think I can... Well, actually, I could probably lock him down with... I can't. Too far away. Bolt, what about you? Okay. Bolt, I can. Oh, you get galvanization. I thought it was talking about us. Oh, in that case, I'm not going near you. Thank you. That's not ideal. These guys use throwing weapons, right? What is this guy going to do? Wow. Really now? That's not on. Who's next? Ferris, you're just too far away, man. Come on now. I know he's galvanized, but... He's technically on half health exactly, so I can't. Right, give everyone protection. Oh boy, this is going to be a rough rough one. I need me pigs. I need me helpers. Pretty please. Damn, it just did not go down at all. Right, he's gone. Good stuff. Get me a point back, Ela. Thank you. I need my... I need my animal reinforcements. That's not quite what I meant. I have an idea. Go to town with the pumpkins, please. Smash them with pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins. Something like that. Throw it. And then stab him. Okay, that was massive. That was needed. Sif, are you stuck behind a fence? You are, but don't let that stop you. Right, who we got left? Can you get in? Can you hit them both? Is the question. You will just be able to peek around and get them both. Nice crit. It's time to galvanize. Now, what's your ability? Target's an area. You're, a, you're an area, area targeter. Right, that's fine. It's less fine if there goes next, though. And now everyone's on fire. Great. Get out. Okay, will that cure burning as well? I mean... Stay, stay as you are. You're just going to target, right? Fine. Horse, take out that raider. Kick him in the ass. Have fun being galvanized for one turn, bro. Okay. Game, can you stop get me stuck on one character, please? I need to lock this guy down so he doesn't kill Krista. Because that's suddenly what this has turned into, unfortunately. One damage? Are you having a laugh, mate? Oh, mate. Okay. Jeez, even with weakening, oh sorry, even with protection, we still got absolutely creamed. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Right, hang on. Let's then seal the deal on that one. Well, actually, I tell a lie. Let me fury it. 
And then, let me go here and rampage. And then if you can move slightly, just so you don't give them galvanization. That'll be all right. It's going to punch, it's going to hurt, but then it should die quite fast. Which one's next? Cora. Nice one. And now we're galvanized. That's more like it. Oh, mate. Okay. I'm not saying we're out, we're out of this yet. Right, destabilized. Now, back off because he's going to be galvanized otherwise. This is sort of like the game we're having to play here. Okay, you're going to bleed out anyway. So really now, it's it's dealing with the rat. Little rat boy. He's going to be problematic anyway. Right, you're dead. Now, can I come in here and crit this guy in the spine several times over? First things first. Smack him with a torch. And now, frenzy. That's massive. Run away. Oh, boy. Cole. Eee, I'm trying to stretch you over here. There we go. Now you get in there. That's exactly what I need. Now run back. I don't want to give him galvanization. The horse might give him galvanization, though. Which is a bit of a problem. In of itself. Ah, oh, bolt, buddy. It's okay. Don't worry. So, who's not gone yet? Everyone in this area has gone. Right. Can you even get down there? Man, your movement is cray-cray. Go on, Rolf. It seems only right that you're the one to actually go and do this. Don't hit your own guy, you mentalist. Well, he ain't dead. And I don't think our animals are getting any closer. No, they're just going to start burning alive. It might smell quite nice. <laughs> but I don't want to think about it like that. Back here, please. Stab through. Oh, he's on two health! Come on, bro, he's on two health! Somebody kill him! I think you're gonna be too far away. I mean, you could probably harpoon it, but you have to fire it through our horse. Am I willing to do that? No, I'm not willing to do that. <laughs> I will not spear through Stomper just to kill the rat. Although he would not expect that at all. He'd be like, what the hell just happened? I just got impaled by a horse. No, Femurus, seal the deal, please. Get in the ground. Woof. Okay. Deal with this guy quickly, because he might hurt Bolt. I don't want him to hurt Bolt, obviously. Just destabilize him. Yeah, that'll do it. Finish him. Woof. What a fight. God, we've been in this country for, what, five minutes? And, uh, yeah, we've already found that uh, we're a little bit... A little bit... Well, I think we're okay. None of us are level 5, technically. We did just do that when nobody was level 5. Did nobody level up at all? Really? Even after all that? I only got 54 XP. I mean, on the plus side, I got the Corporal's Bassinet, so I can give that to someone. And I got a ship's log and some other stuff. I'm not eating them. I told you last time, I'm not eating them. But, let me just quickly check, because I do now have a helmet. I'm just going into this screen so I don't get ambushed whilst I'm doing this. Who doesn't have a helmet currently? Duchess doesn't have a helmet. So, here you go. This'll do. Uh, where'd it go? Heavy helmet, rare deserters. You're, you're one of the people who can wear heavy armor, right? You can. So you're actually the perfect person for it. If anything, you're probably one of the only people for it. Extra crit, extra willpower, extra guard, extra armor. Done. If you want me to leave it on, I can. If I, you want me to hide the helmet, I can also do that. But I'll leave it on for the time being. Is that all I got out of it? Just the helmet? I mean, I'm not complaining. Helmets are great. But uh, I was kind of hoping for a bit more. Oh, man, and that was only the first fight. Let me have a quick look at May's farm whilst I'm here. So what's this? So I can attack them, or I can frighten them, force the raiders to give up part of their loot, requires 20 influence, gives wheat, honey, and a work manual. Work manual is, is, a, is a knowledge point, isn't it? 
Get the hell out of here. Fine, fine. We'll share. No need for insults. Thanks. Take this. It's half of what we got. Here's hoping we never meet again. Fine. I literally just finished the fight, so I'm not really interested in doing one straight away again. Plus, you know, once again, we're not good. We're not bad. We're just people. Eh, there's not really much else here, though. Uh, I can just quickly just cut some wood, so I will get... You know what? Let's get... Hmm. Let's get Redonis to do it. He hasn't done it before. And then we'll go see what that other group is like. If it's another group of level 5, so, like, wow. It has been a bit of a day for fighting. But it's been a good adventure. A lot more dangerous, though. This uh, area is definitely where we need to be, though, to focus on leveling up. Was that work manual actually what I thought it was? It was. I'd say that was worth it. Good stuff. Right, I'm going to get the upgraded cooking pot just because the troops daily food consumption drop is amazing. I think that'll be quite big. I think it'll take us down to like 40, more or less. Obviously, when we hire more people, that'll change. Is there anything else I can grab here? Anything else I can grab here? No, I think I'm good. Okay, let me go find this other group. I think they're just up this road. Yeah, I'll grab some stuff whilst we're on the road, and then we'll go and take this out. Hopefully, they are just level... Five. I know there is a fish thing here, but I'll come back to that at some point. I just want to go and get these dealt with, and then get back to town, get our money's worth, and then hire, I guess. Oh, don't tell me they're over there instead. Oh, bloody hell. They're on the other side of the river. What is this, the mummy? And I've got to go over this bridge to get there. Is it... Am I safe to go over the bridge? Are we... Am I okay? Okay, great. I was expecting the bridge to, like, fall in on itself, then. Okay, they're level four, not level five. Just the answers. Corporal. Do I get your helmet as well? Okay. Well, they're lower levels, so we might be a bit better off this time, but we'll see. There is eight of them. I knew if I can kill their leader, that would be fabulous. Where is their leader? The Scarecrow. Very cool. But also, he's probably pretty shrunk, so we just gotta remember that. Who goes first? The little Bomberman, is it? Alright, well. Of course, they might have something to say about that. God, there's a lot of them just in that area. Jeez Louise, okay, well, that's cool, that's cool, no worries. Oh, I'm in the mud there. Oh, I'm in the mud there, I'm in the mud please, everywhere, hang on. Can I get out of mud please? Cheers. Okay, bombers first, right? Krista, in you go. I don't think you're hitting them both, unfortunately. Well, I tell a lie. No, I unfortunately I do tell a lie. Also, we don't have any Valor Points. Just to, just to highlight that. We're a bit Valor Pointless at the moment. So we do have to be a little bit careful. Okay, you're held in. Let's see how much damage you do. That's manageable. You are getting a go straight after, though, which is not really what I signed up for, but fine, I guess. What are you doing? That's dirty. Very dirty. Right, where's the... Other, who's going next? I think I could, I could probably manage that. More, can you get in there and, and spin? And then also probably set them on fire to be, ah, oh, damn it. Can you get a little bit closer? How about that? There you go. Burn him alive, please. And now if you want to just like get here, just so we get a valor point, that'd be great. Everybody's on fire. Woo. Oh no. Okay, Operation Save Him has kind of just gone on the way. Okay, Bolt, I need you to lock down this jabroni. Let's hit them both first. I don't like that Caesar knocked those, made it so I couldn't see what Bolt just did there, but it's fine. He will go in and save the day and help out Maul. Good job, Bolt. Lifesaver. Let's see how well you do. Oh, God, that's a lot of damage. These guys, they ain't messing. They straight up ain't messing. Good lord, man. Right, Rodonis. Can you try... Oh, this is going to be a weird angle, but I might be able to do it. Piercing throw them... Th yes, you can. That was actually decent. Not that I'm saying that you're not decent, but yeah, that was quite, quite decent. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stand next to him to bait him. Or her. Don't worry, you should be able to take that on the chin. Don't worry about it. Henchman's next. I don't know which one it is, though. It's that guy in the back, right? Cora, I guess, could go and 
lock him down. I guess that will be the case. I'll take it. Just so Maul isn't in a very, very difficult position. Right. This is a bit messy. And I'm aware of this. It's a bit messy. But we'll get there. Okay, nice one, Cole. Where are you going to go with your silly hammer? Uh, are you going to hit your friend, technically? I feel like you are. Oh, that was a crit, so that means I can attack again. Right, his armor's gone. That was big, Ela. Good job. Get in the back of there to keep an eye out. Right, let's see how the animals help us out here, because I feel like we do need their assistance. Hey, it's something. Giving them surround. Right, Rolf. Can you get here? Actually, you know what? No, screw it. Go there. I think Radonis can tank this. Whereas this is a bit more problematic. Great stuff. Right. If you stand here, galvanize with you three. Please? Come on. Okay. What, what? Can you even fit anywhere, Stomper? Alright, I take it back. Yes, he will attack the Scarecrow. And then Yarman, if you can come back here and just support in the back. Everyone's kind of on fire and or poisoned. So we're a little bit... It's a little bit confusing as to what we are at the moment, but it should be alright. Snoot is probably going to go in and attack this guy, I imagine, but he doesn't really have the range for it. Right. Scarecrow is going first. If you can, go help out your squad, because they need you right now. Perfect. Now... Laceration? Why didn't you do a second attack? There you go. I was about to say, why didn't you do a second attack? And then, it sounds crazy, but taunt him. Take him from Bolt, because Bolt doesn't have a lot of health, health left. Rolf should be able to handle it. And I will get a point back instantly, so it's fine. Seven's manageable. I can live with that. And he, oh god, he just took 23 damage from all the overing. Well, in that case... That didn't do the damage I thought it was going to do, if I'm quite honest. Can I even get anywhere around? I can surround this guy. Fine. Ah, man, all the fire and everything's not helping. This is a big old mess. Who's going... When do you... You go kind of soonish. Okay, fine. Cora, can you just seal it? Oh, yeah. That is what you call sealing it. Good job. Now, can you go in there and... Oh, God, there's so much poison everywhere. Poison bloody everywhere. I'm going to go after light sidle in slightly like this. Sneak in, destabilize him. Give him a good old kick. They're kind of hoping that would stop them using their abilities, but it is what it is. At least you set them on fire, I guess. No, I'm not in range. That's a shame. What I can do is... Spin to win. Still not dead. I will make this raider dead if it's the last thing I do. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I finally... Right, I finally feel like at least the... Da the uh, Difficulty has finally caught up to us, you know? Hmm. Can I throw it there? <laughs> Woo! You just threw a spear right through her chest and just killed her like that. Is that how you run, Rudonis? I don't mind if you do. He seems pretty annoyed. Yeah, he seems pretty annoyed, doesn't he? Alright, fair enough, Rudonis. You've got this. Maybe fix up Maul so he's not on fire anymore? At least we can do something, you know? Wow, these fights, though. When I was like, oh, maybe we'll put the difficulty up a bit because it's not really hard anymore. Yeah, I take that back a little bit. Just a little bit. Right, Arterial Pinch, this guy. I mean, I know it's called Arterial Precision, not Arterial Pinch. I think that's an enemy's move set from Darkest Dungeon. Like, genuinely. Okay, let's try and seal this off now. See ya, bro. Get in the ground, please. And that just leaves our saboteur. 
who's now getting eaten alive by Sif, which you love to see. Right, Elo, come here, please. Get the angle on them. Man, some serious fights today. Artez is not messing around. And I think that's what we have to realize here. So what did I get? I got a Bone Licky Charm. I got some Rope, which is fine. Crowns, another Roost Ball. I got the Corporal's Roundel, which looks pretty decent. And then I also got the Fugitive's Bow, which I think is better than the one that Ela has, but I think it's a little bit different. Also, I don't have enough to repair, so I'm going to have to, like, do this a bit on the manual side. No, don't take your clothes off. What are you doing? Okay, I've fixed what I can. The only person that I couldn't fix up was Rolf, but I think for the sake of the company, I think he should probably be fine with that. Right, I know I've discovered a few things, but I'm not going to look at them today. I'm going to go straight back to Corsia and see if we can hire anyone and get these handed in, because we have some money to come into. Honestly, I'm impressed that we made it back after those fights and just running around. I did find a few things on the map, but I will look at them further next episode, the episode after that, when we fully deep dive into this area. Let me go to Plowshare in. Let me get these handed in, please. Oh. There it is, over a grand. Look at this. We're doing very well. Um, there is another rat nest to deal with. We probably will deal with it at some point. There's Kargal or Kagal, the ghost of Harag. That's the new big bad of this area, so we just want to be careful with that. But I'm going to have a quick look around here, see if there's anyone to hire. Well, to say that every person on the list currently is a male character and everyone who's hired is a female character, I've not really got much going on here. Unless people are open to just having their characters as any gender. But I... But if you could confirm that with me, that'd be great, because at the moment, I'm a little bit limited with what characters I can choose with the limitations that you've given me. So uh, let me know on that. But yeah, there's, there's no one I can hire here, because there's no one on the list with that sort of uh, setup. So hopefully I'm going to camp next, near the start of next episode, and it will respawn a few new people. But in terms of like the restrictions to the characters that everyone has put on, if you want, if you have like looser restrictions to what your character could be, then just let me know, because... The more limitations you put on it, the less likely you're going to appear. Is basically the end all and be all to that. Anyway, I will leave it there for today. We finally got to Artez. We've we're basically done with Toltran. We've done the tomb and everything. And we're now going to focus on this county instead. We will go and deal with more of these locations because there's more to discover. I mean, this place is quite massive. There's 32 places. We've only discovered eight. And I haven't really done these places, as it were. So there's a lot to look into, which I'm very excited about. And then we can try and look at getting the actual situation in the county of Arthez, Arthez started next episode. But nobody died. Everyone survived. We got some. We had some pretty close calls. I uh, do need to sort out this mess of an inventory space and figure out what's going on with that. But I can do that before next episode. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel and show us more than ever you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know the next time we're going out with the Deez Herters in War Tales, as well as other games to come down the line. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.